What's going on, everybody? My name's Clara Fox Soul, and today we are going to discuss about Dizzy. That's right, the Angel Gear herself, the mother of sin, and the true love of Kai Kisk. We are going to go deep into her lore, and we're going to present you with the history of Dizzy right now. The details of Dizzy's birth are not known exactly. All that is known for certain is that she was found as an infant roughly three years before the events of Guilty Gear X. Dizzy was born as a half gear, which is a product of union between gear and human. It is known that Justice, the Commander Gear herself, is the mother of Dizzy. The father is still unknown, however, it is also speculated by many that given the relationship of Arya and Soul Bad Guy, that there is a slim chance since Arya is that of justice, there may be a chance while known as Frederick, that Soul could possibly be the father. But then again, that is just a speculated rumor given from the internet. Once born into the world, it is noted that all gears will mature at a rapid rate, which can cause some confusion when their apparent age does not match their real age. Even the chronological age is not comparable that to a human's, as the superior ability to absorb information and process information, this means that all gears by the age of three essentially is equivalent to an adult human. Dizzy was found and raised for a short time by an old couple with no children of their own to depend on. When time passed, the other villagers became afraid since Dizzy appeared to age from being an infant to apparently being in her late teens in just three years. Her adoptive parents decided to hide her away in a forest to save her from the angry villagers. She lived alone in a cottage for some time in the forest until it was discovered by a group of humans. She drove them back, taking care not to hurt them too much. But it wasn't long after this that it became harder and difficult to keep them away. Now, one day, it was discovered that Dizzy had grown wings and a tail, and now was identified as a gear, especially known as a living weapon of mass destruction. This was especially troubling as the Hundred Year War against the Gears had ended five years ago. Even though Dizzy's foster parents had hit her in the woods, she was soon discovered and subjected to the abuse above the hands of her captors. She quickly escaped and the government issued a $500,000 world dollar bounty for her death. One day, another geared had appeared named Soul Bad Guy. He had defeated Dizzy, but did not kill her. Instead, Soul deemed that she was not a threat and left her to be alone. Johnny, the leader of the Jellyfish Pirates, had found her after battle and took her under his wing and made her part of their group. After so long alone, she had found a home with Johnny and the Jellyfish Pirates. And during her time with them, she met one of the directors of the International Police Force named Kai Kisk. They had fallen in love and soon she bared him a child, who they named Sin. As his gear blood soon became apparent, they agreed that he could not remain with Kai. So, Kai Kisk met with that of Soul Bad Guy and requested him to take their child, Sin, and raise him and become his guardian. Some years later, after the baptismal 13th event took place, Dizzy was a high target on Valentine's list. She was attacked and began to disintegrate. But with one last desperate attempt, Kai Kisk locked Dizzy away into a separate dimension to where time flowed much more slower than that of ours. And she would stay there to sleep until the threat of Valentine could be destroyed. <laughs> 